just outside my bedroom door and I'm on my way to my sister's baby shower. But this was like right outside our bedroom door and I thought it was so funny. So Taylor wrote a little note. Then there's like another little note. And then there's the, a huge bag of Lucky Charms. Pretty funny, Taylor. Pretty funny. So we went to Trader Joe's and Costco today. Jimmy already put all the Costco stuff away, but I'll show you what we got at Trader Joe's. Um, it was $100. This is all the stuff we got. We got the advent calendars, which are out now, and they sell fast. So if you guys want them, go get them. It's those chocolates. Um, we got these two potato chips or tortilla kind of-ish chips. They're so yummy. Um, we were on a black pepper. I was having... Uh, craving for sweets. I, my whole no dessert thing, yeah, that didn't last. Um, I got some carrots to dip in hummus. This is the hummus. I got organic, just I think this is like garlic hummus, and then this Mediterranean hummus. And then this is for the guinea pigs. Um, I already showed that. Okay, then I got stuff for smoothies. So I have the pineapple, organic blueberries, organic strawberries, and then this tropical if fruit If you blend. want to know what Gosh, kind of guinea hard. pigs they are, one of them is long-haired, and they're, and they're both girls, and one of them is short-haired. Uh -huh. and, and, okay. and the short-haired one is brown and white. We and have the other one is broccoli. Black, white, These are brown. for the guinea pigs, too. Some cheese slices for, like, tuna melts and grilled cheese. And um, some oranges, avocados, coconut water for smoothies, kefir yogurt. They didn't have organic at Trader Joe's. Um, then this is just apple juice, not from Concentrate. I got Stella some treats. Um, oh, sorry. We won't tell you more about those. Chloe wants to tell you. We got organic strawberries, some tomatoes to go with the hummus. Oh, these carrots are for the guinea pigs. Um, oh my gosh. These are so good. Just mango slices. It's just mango. Like they don't add sugar. Um, and then I got more pepperoni and pizza sauce for the crock pot that we love, that I love. And then I got spaghetti squash. Ew. Do you want to talk about the dog treats? And that's everything. That's what Except we got. Except for the dog treats. At Trader Joe's. Except for the dog treats. Okay. Oh, and then did you guys know that they have organic apples at Costco now? That's really exciting. We got more bananas. Oh, and we got bananas. Yeah. Okay, tell me about the dog treats. The dog treats are, tra are from Trader Joe's, turkey, and something. Cranberry. Dog Cranberry dog treats. And I think Stella, our dog, will really love them. Okay. Stella has one right now. Yeah, in just a second. All right, all right so I'm going to put all this away. Uh, maybe I'll show you in the um, fridge what we got from... Costco if I can. Funny. Some of the things that Jimmy got at Costco. We got the Mama Chia's, which Taylor loves, takes for lunch. We got the round bread, some raisin bran. This is new to our home. It's organic. Um, I saw that. <laughs> we got Z-Bars, which we took a long break from getting those, but they're back. Perfect food bars, and then our favorite bread. Um, what else did you get? Dave's killer bread. I, did you I get eggs? <laughs> I got eggs, I got milk, milk, I got a gallon of eggnog. Yeah, he did. Look at that. I think we're set. <laughs> I got three, we're set with milk I and eggnog. I got eggnog. three uh, orange juices. Yes, he did. And, and some uh, eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, I think I might wean off my Xevias. Oh, I got this. I'm kind of excited about this. Those are the perfect food bars. Uh, see this jar of salsa back here? Oh, yeah. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. It? it is good, yeah. And I got a bag of chicken tamales back here mm -hmm. to go with the salsa. Good. And then I got... Did you go hungry? I did. Yeah. yeah. And then I got a bag of kale, but I put it in the freezer. Wait, yeah, I already put it in there. Sucked away. Uh-oh. See? Good. For smoothies. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what I got today. I had some Birchbox points, and so I finally used them up. There are a couple things I've been wanting to try, 
and not the money to buy them, but with Birchbox points, yay, I get to. So um, I wanted to pull them out and show you. The first one is the Smashbox Liquid Liner, and my friend Nicole has or was wearing this, and her eyeliner looked amazing. So she told me it was this. I'm going to try it out. And then the other thing that I got is this It Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil. And I was talking to my friend Sam from Sam Sherman. And then I also asked Melissa Honeybee Philosophy what brow pencils they liked. And I looked at all of them, looked at all the reviews, and decided to try this one. I wanted the MAC one, but I just that they didn't have MAC on Birchbox. So the Universal Brow Pencil by It Cosmetics. So that's what I got took 50 points and I used up everything that I had but um I'm gonna try these out tomorrow for church so I'll let you guys know what I think hey guys it's Sunday morning and I'm home in my bed because Taylor woke up with a sore throat Jimmy had a sore throat for a few days now Taylor's not feeling that great although suddenly now he's perked up but so Jimmy had to teach Sunday school so him and Chloe went I stayed home with Taylor and I was just watching um, you can see some videos on my laptop. I watched Melissa's vlog, Honeybee Philosophy, and then I'm looking into trying out, um, changing up my diet a little bit. So eating more fruits and vegetables, kind of vegan, but not, <laughs> not, I don't know. I don't know if I want to, yeah, I don't know kind of vegan, um, giving up meat and, and stuff for just, just a bit and see how I feel, how it like helps my energy and my health and stuff like that. I love challenges. I love trying out new things with my eating, with my workouts. Just, I don't know. I just think it makes life more fun and interesting. And my sister's been doing this for a while and she's just had so many good things to say about it. So I thought I would try it, so I've been doing some research, making sure I'm going to get enough nutrition, enough protein, um, so I'm watching a bunch of videos, getting ideas, and now I'm going to go do my makeup, and I have to film a few videos for my YouTube channel, and for Twisted Silver, and for the Mama Logs, the She Knows Mama Logs, so I'm going to get busy doing that. I will try to come back and show you my makeup. Um, and then we'll check in with Jimmy when he gets home from church and see, oh, he wouldn't have listened to the message. So we're going to have to listen to the message together, um, maybe tonight, and then we can chat with you guys about it later. Hey guys. Okay. So I just finished filming. I did my Twisted Silver video, my Mama Logs video, and then I filmed two giveaways that I have coming up in December. I have a lot of giveaways coming up, you know, for the Christmas season. It's the season of giving. Um... But I thought I would just show you my makeup today, and I kind of did something a little bit different. I did not put mascara on my bottom lashes. I didn't do anything, actually. I didn't do waterline eyeliner. I didn't do anything underneath here. Um, I just, I don't know. I guess I just kind of wanted to do something fresh and natural. So I did the Cover FX Mattifying Primer to start, and then with the Cover FX Foundation Brush, I put the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. This has SPF 15. It's broad spectrum, so I like that. And then for my contour, just a little bit, I did the Cover FX Bronzer in Suntan. Let me see if I can open it one-handed and show you. Um, okay, hold on. Sorry. That's what it looks like. It's really dark, but it blends really well, and I like it a whole lot. So that's what I put on in, you know, my cheekbone area. For my blush, I have the Maybelline Master Highlight in Coral, and this is really fun because it's a blush, but it also has highlighting in it, and it's really subtle. It's not... Um, overwhelming. It's not the best lighting in my bedroom right now, so sorry. You'll have to watch the videos wearing the shirt to see what it looks like in better lighting. Um, for my eyes, I did the ColourPop. This is in Amaze, and it's a little bit sparkly, and it did have a little fallout, so I feel like I have some sparkles 
going on on my face. And in the crease, I used Cafe in the Lorac Pro To Go palette. And um, I think I did Pearl just right up underneath my eyebrow, which is also in that same palette. Then for my mascara, I just did the Tarte Lights, Camera, Flashes mascara, which, I mean, I love this mascara. It's the best mascara. My eyebrows, I did the Brow Power by IT Cosmetics, and this is the first time I've used it. I really like it. I think it's going to be a good match. Um, and then my eyeliner, oh, I love it, you guys. I really do love it. This is the Smashbox, the one I just showed you guys that I got from Birchbox. It has a really good, fine, like, it's like a marker, so you see, but it's not flimsy. It actually draws on really, really easily. So if you're kind of afraid of liquid liner, I'm trying to put the lid on, um, or you're not that good at it, I'm not that good at it. This makes it a lot easier. And then, did I already show this? I did the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I can't remember if I showed that yet. Underneath my eyes, that's all I used. And then for my lips, I paired these two. This is the Maybelline Matte in Lust for Blush, which is like my most favorite lipstick. So I put that on first, um, and then I paired it with this Gabriel lipstick in Clay. This is an all-natural makeup line that I've been trying out, and I really, really like it. I'll leave a link below. But isn't that so pretty? Um, love it. So that's all I have going on for my makeup. Um, like I said, I skipped church this morning because Taylor had a sore throat, so I stayed home with him. Um, but I did listen to a podcast while I was getting ready. It's one of my favorite things to do while I get my makeup on. I'll listen to a sermon or something. And I listened to one from Brook Hills Church. And um, I have an itch on my nose. <laughs> It was about worship and how everything we do, every job we have, parenting, marriage, friendships, YouTube, everything we do should be an act of worship, that there is no sacred secular split, which I thought was really, really good. And I've heard our pastor preach on that before, and it just really like spoke to me then, and it was such a good reminder um, so he was going through one of the Psalms. I can't remember which one, but it was just a really good message. So I listened to that, and then I'm going to listen to or watch our churches probably tonight or tomorrow with Jimmy since he was teaching Sunday school. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to do laundry, and I am in an organizing, minimizing mood. So I'm going to go through my bedroom. That's the plan for today. So I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. It's Panera time. What would you get? I got the turkey cranberry <gasps> flatbreads. I've been wanting to try that. Can I have a bite? Yeah. And I got soup and salad. All right. We're going to eat, but this is our last meal out, right? Forever. I'm giving up my Zevia sodas and my Lara bars for breakfast. And I'm going to try and eat raw fruits and vegetables until 4 and then eat a normal um, dinner probably with no meat for a little bit, just to see how I feel, how my energy is. So for this morning's smoothie, I did um, a pretty large handful of these power greens. I did a cup of this fresh, re I can talk. I did a cup of the fresh squeezed orange juice, just orange juice, nothing else. A cup of this coconut milk. I did one frozen banana, one regular banana, about a cup of this of these organic strawberries and then I did a cup of water and I think that is everything so I'm gonna blend it up right now and that will be my breakfast hey guys it's Tuesday I just wanted to show you what I made for the family this is the pizza crock pot meal oh my gosh it smells so good to me right now but look at this cute planner that came today I got to design my own planner and I'm gonna do a video kind of giving a tour of it but this is so cool I just look at how cute the cover is I want my focus to be worship this year so I put that at the top and then my name at the bottom I'm just so excited um, anyway I also gave up caffeine and I have had a headache 
for like two days and I feel as though I'm going to die. Like my brain is foggy. I can't think clearly. I just can't even believe that this is like probably mostly from caffeine. It's, it's just crazy. Jimmy says the third day will be better. So that's tomorrow. I'll check in and let you guys know. All right. See ya. So Chloe got Callie out and Callie's like totally just chilling. Callie, you're just chilling. You're so cute. We think that Callie and Lola are British and they talk in a British accent, right? In a fancy accent. Callie, would you like a carrot? She, she My name is Callie. My favorite food is a carrot. <laughs> She's so cute. You just love her. Too much noise for Callie. Too much noise? Yeah. What did, she... what did you ask me about Callie? If she could what? Uh... She could be a what? Are you just relaxing? A show pig. Right? Oh my gosh, you can't look away from the TV. <laughs> Chloe has discovered on our Netflix or something. Happy Kids. Happy Kids, these tutorials. And so she's been watching them and now she's working on drawing. Can I see real quick? Look. Okay, so it's Wednesday. I never do this. I never do a midweek grocery run, but I wanted to make some new recipes and I needed some different ingredients. So I went to Sprouts and I got some organic corn, some organic black beans. Then I tried this new fruit. I think it's called persimmon, something like that. So I got three of those. I got an organic uh, watermelon, regular uh, lemons, some cilantro, coconut sugar, then um, they had organic grapes, which I was so excited about and I'm craving those. So they're like crunchy grapes. We got red and I guess purple. And then I got sweet potatoes and regular potatoes, both organic. I got some tomatoes, some bell peppers, one green, one red, some unsalted vegetable stock, a little bit more coconut milk, and some salad stuff. This is kind of for guinea pigs. And that is what I got at Sprouts. Hopefully that will eliminate a lot of things we'll need. Just a minute. Um, things, a lot of things that we'll need this weekend if we even need to go. So that's what I got midweek at the grocery store. Now I'm gonna cut up watermelon and grapes and it's gonna be delicious. I just wanted to check in with you and let you know that day three of no caffeine, I am feeling so much better. I um, am doing the raw tail four and I actually am loving it. The first two days, not so much, but I have so much energy today and I have not had any caffeine. I've just been eating fruits and vegetables all day raw and I'm going to cook um, some sweet potato fries, I think some regular potatoes too, and bake them and then broil them and then um, make a big salad with my own dressing. Who am I becoming? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm on day three. The whole thing is called raw till four and it is a vegan lifestyle. I don't know how long I'm committing to this. So, um, yeah, so I just am trying it out and let you guys know how it goes. I really enjoy dairy. Well, I enjoy cheese. I don't like milk, but so that's been, um, a little bit of an adjustment, but it'll be interesting. I take it day by day and so far today I've had so much energy. It's like 3.30 right now on Wednesday and this is usually when I hit my slump and I'm still going strong. I don't feel like I need a nap. I don't feel like sitting on the couch. I feel really good. So um, anyway, I will check in and keep letting you guys know how it's going. But so far day three is like the best day. The first two days felt like I was dying. When therefore the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said it had <laughs> We're watching the sermon on Wednesday night because we have Bible study tomorrow. And so as we see this idea, as we see what's happening here, I want you to I want you to put this analogy to mind for a minute. Let's just pretend that my family was gonna go to Europe, okay? Let's just pretend that I was gonna go to Europe because of something 
I don't know, really important for our church. I'm gonna go there and be gone for a year. Hey guys, it's Thursday afternoon. I'm just getting ready to go do my workout. I'm in my workout clothes. And I think I'm gonna do fitness blenders, like hit cardio, probably 30 minutes. Um, I just finished filming a ton of videos that needed to get done for my YouTube channel. I have my workout music going. I'm so not in the mood to work out. I just feel like whenever I have my hair and my makeup done, I never really want to work out, but I know I'll feel better afterwards, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm now on day four of the whole Raw Tell 4 vegan-ish, although I'm, I'm not saying I'm a vegan or Raw Tell 4 committer. I'm just trying it out. I don't know if I could live like this. Like There are certain things that I miss, and I don't know if it's because I just have an addiction and I'll get over it, or I don't know, but I enjoy it. I enjoy certain things. It's like the experience of it. So we'll see how long this lasts. Anyway, I'm going to go get my workout done and I'll check out with you guys later. I have a zit, by the way, that showed up in all my videos. It's like the end, that time of the month that I'm going to be super humble. It's just real life. Just keeping it real. This is our Friday night fun. We're watching my friend Sam and her family. Chloe is not feeling all that great, so she's in her pajamas. We were supposed Can I hold Callie? To... A little bit. We were supposed to have Kendra and Becky over tonight for game night, but Matt, our pastor Matt, is sick, Becky's husband, and then poor Chloe girl is sick too, so we had to cancel it. And instead, the boys went to Taekwondo, the girls stayed home. I just finished eating. My oh, food. Um, still going so raw till four. I'll talk about that later in another vlog. Um, but anyway, that's what's going on. I love you. Don't think of it. This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so I'm in the car and I'm heading to, let me turn on the radio, my hair appointment and I cannot decide if I want to cut my bangs again or keep growing them. So I put a picture on Instagram asking everybody, oh, that was almost an accident, um, what I should do and almost everybody said to keep the swoop. So I think I might keep it. No, maybe just one more time and then make a decision. In 900 feet, you'll arrive. My <laughs> GPS. Um. Anyway, I will check in afterwards and show you my new do. I mean, it's not going to be anything new. We're doing balayage still and covering up the grays because those are pretty out of control right now. Um, my makeup today. I'm wearing the Lorac Pro or Professional with the City Cosmetics. Um, primer today um, and then my eyeshadow is ColourPop it's the gold like coppery like penny color with um, the Lorac Pro to Go Cafe in the crease and then I have the Maybelline Master Highlight the peachy one as my blush and then um, for my lipstick it's a new lipstick that I got in my Ipsy bag um, and then I'm wearing the Smashbox, which is new liquid liner, and I love it. I got it on Birchbox. You guys already know that. I already showed you. Um, but I love it. I really love it. I don't know if I could spend that much every time, especially because oh, I need to get over. Um, especially because I think it's similar to the Physician's Formula, kind of. Okay, I'm running late. I need to put my phone down because the traffic should be picking up soon. Um, oh, and these are the Twisted Silver necklaces. This is Capture, and I think this is Clarity. I think that's what it's called. And this is from, this is like a tunic from Plato's Closet. And I'm wearing like bell-bottom jeans, kind of. Not full-on bell-bottom, but kind of. And wedges. Oh my gosh, this bus. What the heck? <sighs> late. Goodness gracious. Um, that's not my hair appointment. 
Okay, I gotta go. I'll check in after.